As part of advancement in technology in Nigeria, the switch from pen on paper to the computer-based method of writing examinations in higher institutions come with its advantages, ranging from instant scoring capability, enhanced security, scheduling convenience, among others. This has been the mode of examination at the Federal Polytechnic Oko Anambra State until lecturers started seeing this differently. They now believe the method does not measure students' knowledge as they have options to pick from instead of answering questions in detail, thus reversing the pen on paper method. But the students allege that it is just an excuse to take undue advantage of them. And once that uh, hundred marks are being given to them, they're using it to threaten our students, most especially our female ones, because many things will be happening. As part of efforts to find a common ground and restore order in the system, the Academic Staff Union of the institution put together a workshop to educate lecturers on ethical values and morals. Guest speakers speak on the expectation from lecturers. If a lecturer breaks the code of ethics, breaks the law, let the person face the music of the law. Asu cannot come in to begin to defend, you know, cases that we cannot defend. I've faced a lot of embarrassment. I've gone to schools where we went to intervene in the case of people who were being victimized, and we ended up begging the governing council and the management for mercy, because we discovered that our member, you know, had, had breached, you know, you know, you know, the rules. The school authorities read the riot act on proper conduct. Any illegal action by any academic staff which is reported to my office as acting rector of Federal Polytechnic Goku and found to be true shall attract sanction. Rounding off the lecture, the branch chairman of the union re echoes the essence of the seminar. Proper things should be done, ethical values must be maintained. Lecturers will be lecturers, students will be students. Students at no time will never determine the way or the mode of exam he or she should be subjected to. The lecturers are also advised to develop a good attitude towards their job, be conscious of their self-worth, and maintain good communication and interaction with students.